class, if I wanted to find the third term of this, you could um, do a whole bunch of foiling, which would be stupid. You could use binomial theorem, which is the best move. And in order to use binomial theorem, we focus in on this power. And with binomial theorem, you start with the 8 and you do combinations. So we start with 8, combination 0. Now if I want the third term, all I'm going to do is go down 3. So then I go to 8, combination 1, then 8, combination 2. So that's what I want to deal with. I don't want to deal with everything else. I just want to find that line of binomial theorem. So the next step would be you first do your combinations, then you focus in on this. So you can do x to some power. Now, what power would you put x to? Well, you look back at that, 8. So you start with 8 here, then you do 7, then you do 6. Again, you could keep this going down, by the way. This technically keeps going down, but we're not caring because all we're caring about is the third term. <coughs> all right, and then we look at the last piece, the 3. And what term do we start with? I mean, what power do we start with? We start at 8th here, so we start with the opposite, which is 0. And then we work our way down, 1, 2, and so forth. Um, do you guys remember that this and this should always add up to that power? Yes. 7 plus 1 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. Should always add up. Good little check. So basically, all we care about is this. So let's do that, and we're done. Really nice. It saves a lot of time when the questions ask for just a specific term. Okay. So first of all, 8C2. Well, that's 8 times 7 divided by 2 times 1. Remember, 8C2 is 8P2 divided by 2 factorial. That cancels leaving you 4, so it looks like we have 28. And then we also have 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. So what I see here is I see 28 x to the 6th times 9. Is that my answer? No. We still have to multiply 28 and 9. So 9 times 28. 9 times 8 is 72. That is 18 plus 7 is 25. So we have 252 x to the 6. That is the 6th term. If it asks for the coefficient of the 6th term, it would be 252. If I wanted the second term, do you understand? I'd get this. If I want the first term, I'd get this. If I wanted the seventh term, I'd have to go all the way down to the seventh term. Now, do you have to write all this stuff? No, sometimes if you're smart enough, you can kind of just kind of look at the patterns and see what these values are if you're going far down, like to the sixth or fifth term. You can see the patterns, and that can save you time.